How to use wallpapers, photo montage on the Mac by PLR.me. I'll show you how to create a photo montage on the Mac. All Macs come with iMovie software, which is very good for creating photo montages. Here I'm using iMovie version 6 rather than the newest version. iMovie is closely integrated with iPhoto. Your first step is to move your wallpapers into iPhoto so they will easily be available in iMovie. Now a video screen measures 720 pixels by 480 pixels. Since we will be moving these wallpapers around, we want to use ones that are considerably larger size measured in pixels. PLR.me offers many different resolutions for its wallpapers. 1024 pixels by 768 pixels is large enough for this application. So let's drag that folder only into iPhoto. Now we've switched to iMovie. The first thing we want to do is create a new project. Let's call it Montage. Now you'll find the wallpapers that you just loaded into iPhoto by clicking on the Media button in the lower right hand corner. Switch over to Photos. You are already on the last roll which gives you only the 20 wallpapers that you just imported into iPhoto. To create a photo montage in iMovie, we'll make use of a feature called the Ken Burns effect. Let's just click on a wallpaper at random. You'll see that iMovie demonstrates the Ken Burns effect right away, but it's not going to be exactly what you want. So stop the preview and use the Photo Settings panel to choose your start and end points. You'll notice that Ken Burns effect is checked. If you uncheck this box, you'll just have a normal still photo with no motion. Your other controls, this first slider controls the amount of zoom. The second slider determines the duration or the amount of time the photo is on screen. Then you have a button that will give you the exact reverse of what you just set up. Finally, when you're happy with your setup, click on the Apply button. Now we're at the start. Let's zoom in on the photo and use the grabber hand to move the photo to an interesting feature. Now let's switch over to the end and make this a complete still photo. This indicates that the photo will have a duration of 6.01 seconds, which is a good starting point, so let's apply that. iMovie automatically places your photo in the timeline, and the red progress bar at the bottom tells you how long the processing will take. Now let's add another photo into the sequence. This time, let's start with a full photo. Let's choose a good ending point and apply that. Let's pick out a third one. Stop the preview, choose a starting point. This time, let's start with a focused point, meaning we'll zoom in a bit. And let's end it with a full photo. And apply. Now let's finish the sequence by adding some transitions. You'll find the transitions by first clicking on the editing button in the lower right, then moving to the top and clicking on transitions. We'll start with a fade in. Then add a cross dissolve between each photo. and finish with a fade out. Now let's select everything in our timeline, return to the beginning, and see what it looks like. The 
there you have it. You'll probably want to study your wallpapers and choose ones that give you a logical sequence with similar sentiments, but you can create a photo montage on the Mac in a matter of minutes. Get started now at PLR.me. That's www.plr.me.